All right. At this point, we have the information. It's just a matter of actually having team coordination. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to pull out an AR, and I'm just going to try to switch it up a little bit. Where I'm going to keep my distance and stop trying to go for like these close range plays. The stun off. Boom. Boom. Guy up there. Is he going to push me? My teammate has left lane. My teammate has middle. I just need to pick up the right. And again, I'm just going to play for like the trade on A-bomb. Um, okay, so I remember they do this right lane hit. There's that guy right lane dead. There should be another guy up there, though. There he is. Double challenge, please. I'm going to keep pushing up. I have an AR, so I just got to hold the pre-aim. Good stun. He heard, he heard me, by the way. And I'm dead. I should have threw my trophy down. Nice. Yeah, that's playing trades right there. There we go. Uh, I've done this A play several times. I just can't do it anymore, so I kind of need to do something different. I'm going to try something different right here. I don't know how useful this is. All right. Never done that before. That's the first time I've ever done that. But in situations like this, when you're down 3-5, you just got to go for it. <laughs> That's not a special kill or anything. I'm just holding the right lane, and he just so happened ran in front of me. I was just lucky. And that's just playing fundamentals, right? Just hold the right lane. That's all I'm doing. And that's why I killed that guy. The enemy team might be panicking at this point. And if you remembered, it's 4-5. We never picked up the left lane ever. And that one enemy flanked through our left lane, right? So all I'm doing right now is I'm predicting an enemy to be hitting the left lane. <laughs> Just like that. Just wish I could see him better. There we go. And like, I would get reported for something like that just because... You know, it's like, you guys never hold left lane! The one time I hit the left lane, you guys pick it up? Right, makes sense. And it's like, nah, dude. Alright, it's a 4v2. Usually at this point, enemies panic. And they just start running around. And, yep. Enemies panic and they run around. I haven't done my fast A hit. So I'm just gonna go for it. It's round 11. I'm not scared. Two of them saw me, so I just gotta get out. But like at that point, they're they're scared. They think I'm pushed up. <laughs> and uh, it should just be GG's at this point because the enemies they're gonna like play it all the way down until like 30 seconds, and then they're gonna try to make a play inside of A. And I'm gonna be here for the trade. I actually should call in this kill streak. Just waiting for my teammates so we could play this together. One shot. Nice. The other guy's one shot teammate. Nice. There we go. 6 5. Just like that. And that right there is just being cool, calm, and collected because every round in SD, I mean. <laughs> like, oh, man, that's just how Call of Duty is played, bro. And that's why I love it because the only thing that matters at the end of the day is you getting six points in S&D, 250 points in hard point, and three, uh, three points in control. That's all that matters at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what the enemies have.